we are doing a not so berry flavored episode today but we're actually not playing not so berry what we're going to be doing instead is casting up some of our not so berry characters because there's a lot that have aged up or been born or just be out wilding in the background and um oh my gosh why are you out on your own <laughs> Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, so I need to do Zane's children. I don't know where they've gone. Um, I also need to do, look at this. So Forest girls have grown up into teenagers and he also has two more children. So I need to do these guys as well. But where are Zane's children? Why has this happened? That's very worrying. <laughs> Because I specifically moved them into, like, the same house as each other. And now it's just Zane. Is it just him? Are the others just out of shot, maybe? I'm just going to double check because that... <laughs> this is news to me. Okay, you really just went and... Okay. Okay, where is... Where are your babies? Oh, gosh. Who, what's her name? She's meant to be my best friend in the game, but I always forget her name. My father Winter's still there. <laughs> so many of the, like, so many of my sims wear this hair. Violet Wheels. I just went with the surname Wheels, didn't I? Um, okay, we need to try and find Violet Wheels. Because she's more like Violent Wheels. She stole my babies. Like, where are they? I do not know. He's like, I don't know. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't know where they've gone. Uh, but I thought we'd start with forests because he's got like four children to do. So these guys have got themselves a little fortune going on as well. Well done. Yeah, I might have to move them back in. But I don't know if she's like remarried. I don't know what's gone on. Asas, thank you so much for the bits. Your wife fi cut off when you're talking about movies. But I recommend Fear Street. It's a slasher movie, but actually... Shows a super sweet and great representation of a woman love woman ship. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, if I'm watching horrors though, I need to be like with a bunch of people. Okay, so we have Catalina and Aelin, who are the eldest. So you guys, I think, last saw them as maybe toddlers or maybe like children. Ah. Either way, it's been a while. Um... Didn't you have black hair? Yeah, because your eyebrows are black. But you seem to have dyed your hair blonde, but kept your eyebrows black. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, Catalina had um, her father's like curly hair texture, but her mum's like red hair color. So we'll keep that as well. And then there's also two like new babalaroos as well. We've got Jace. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this whole child? What? Forrest with the strong genes. Yeah, he, he had two um, sets of twins. So we've got Jace here, and we've also got Mackenzie as well. Mackenzie, who seems to have more of our mum's skin tone, but her dad's hair. And Jace, who has like a softer kind of curl. Um, and then, yeah, his skin tone's kind of somewhere more in between. It's a family with like quite a lot of different skin tones because we... Oh, you're an elder now. We've got Cheyenne, who is like redhead uh, um, and very pale. And then we've got Forrest as well, who was, not was, is still Briar's brother. So, and he obviously has very textured hair, which has been passed on to two of his children. So why don't we start with Catalina and kind of go from there. Oh, my game category is still on just chatting. Let me switch it over to the Sims for there we go. Thank you, Sean. Okay, so um, let me make sure I remember that her hair is um, red and curly. But for now, I'm just going to strip her back to the basics. Okay, I'm just making sure I updated that stream title. Uh, we'll give her brown eyes. And I'm kind of thinking if she's got red hair, she's probably going to have red brows as well, isn't she? I'm sure she had red hair as a child, so... Let's soften her brows just a touch. What's this music from? Where is, what, what pack is this music from? Is this new? 
I don't know what music they added for the newest like wedding stories, if they added any in Cass. But is this Tartosa? Also, how okay. How do you guys pronounce? Do you pronounce it Tartosa or Tartosa? Because I've been saying Tartosa. Because genuinely. Posture check. Thank you, Irene. Um, Tartosa is it's kind of sounds rude within in, in england toza okay you guys have been saying tartosa okay good yeah it's i think it's a bit of like a difficult to say word if i'm being honest um i kind of like the skin on her um is it it's it's tartosa okay because i was like tartosa tartosa and i'm like oh what if it's tartosa and i'm like no, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that, Claire. Oh, she got a ring on. Wow, she's got all the accessories on. Okay, there we go. Okay, I feel like she's going to be very adorable. I'm. You know what I'm actually seeing really strongly is her mum's face. She's got her mum's facial features, especially the eyes. It does. Okay, I'll bear a mic. It is like Italian then. Okay, that was good to know. That was good to know. Um, I'm going to give her a little bit of darker blush. But just a bit softer than that. Maybe like here. And I'm kind of liking the nose. But I will give her some like texture. Face contour. When did I download you? Hmm, huh, interesting. And I'm gonna go. Oh, I will change her eyebrow color in a second as well. Yeah, I've done her eyebrows black, haven't I? I will change that in just a sec. Gonna just have a nosy at some other nose overlays. Mm. That one's quite cute on her, isn't it? And do I want to go for an eyelid overlay? Because I am obsessed with these eyelids. Yeah, that looks pretty on her. Maybe a touch lighter. Okay. She do be looking cute. She's a teenager right now, but they have been teens for a little while. So I'll put like a gentle bit of makeup on her. Can you give her braces? That's such a good idea. I absolutely will. Okay, I'm going to go. I don't like going for these colors because they, I don't know. They look really painted on to me. Whereas these actually look like more like natural hairs. So I'm going to go for this dark brown one. Um, I think braces is a good idea. I never like think to do that, even though I literally wore braces for like, most of my teen head. Maybe that's why I don't do it actually. Okay. There we go. We'll go for some little braces on her. <laughs> and let's pop a little bit of eyeshadow on her. Just like more like teeny eyeshadow, I think. Maybe like I was thinking like a pale sort of pink situation. These are kind of strong. I'm gonna pull the like brightness down a lot. It just looks like a little bit. That's quite pretty. Or maybe like an orangey ready kind of shade. Like a burnt orange. What do you reckon? I don't know, when I think of teen makeup, I think of more basic makeup. Just like gentle kind of experimentally makeup. Um, I might go for some in-game eyeshadow. No. Swing and a miss there. Tried it, but I decided no. Maybe just a little bit of eyeliner around the edges of her eyes. And then... Maybe just like a little touch of blush. I've got this flushed here. It's a little bit light for her. Um, any other colors here? Maybe this one. Hmm. No, I'm going to leave her without the blush, actually. And do her outfits based on her traits. Okay, so her traits. She's a serial romantic. Oh, okay. She's a serial romantic. She likes the color brown. And she has a dislike for French country decor classical music and fitness and she's a cheerful neat freak who likes the color brown 
So I'm kind of thinking maybe we go for a bit of like a dark academia look on her. I think that could be quite cute. Um, okay, let's give her some little lips. Um, no. Um, yeah, they look pretty. And <laughs> you're getting scarlet vibes from her. Interesting, interesting. And then I need hair that has a red variation. I think a lot of these hairs only come in one color. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking maybe is, what if we went for like, cause she's got her father's, um, her father's hair texture. So maybe like something like this, this one here. Or the slightly lighter variant. That could be quite cute. What do you guys reckon? Uh, Cherry, thank you so, so much for subscribing. Can we come Cherry M to the Peaches, please? And Weaver of Stories, thank you so much for the seven months in a row. Becca, thank you so much for the 18 months in a row. 19 months in total. <gasps> You're sad but excited for the last not so very. I'm really excited to play the final gem. Okay, I'm glad you guys like that hair because as soon as I put it on her, I'm like, yes, this looks amazing on her. Um, We've got like these little clips I could put in just like as a little bit of an accessory. Or I could do like a little kind of headband situation. Um, we know she likes the color brown. So we could kind of tie it into her outfit a little bit. Or is there just like a simpler headband? Oh, I do have like these as well. That doesn't feel like her vibe though. No, I'm not feeling that. Um, you like the headband? Okay. Maybe I'll go back to the headband option. I have this one too. But I think like, let's go for like a little, ooh. I did not realize I downloaded these. Obviously not right for her. I have additional bangs options now, which is always exciting. I wanted like this kind of headband, but never mind. Okay, let's pop the head back on, bend back. The headband back on her, because you guys liked that. Where was it? Uh, here. Okay. And then we know she likes brown, so I'm going to do two outfits for them, because they're going to get invited to a wedding, so I'm going to do a formal outfit and also their main outfits and i was thinking of like where is it so we could go for like hmm. is any of these like quite brown see this okay where is the oh. one i was thinking of it's like a, this kind of thing okay this is what i was thinking so I was thinking of like a little brown top. Hmm. That's clashing with the hair for me though. Why don't we break up the brown a little bit, have the brown here and a breakup color in between. I think that would make the most sense. Because hmm. otherwise it's it's clashing with the hair just a touch. I think that's probably the better way to do it. Oh, we could do black. I'm kind of liking this. Yeah, a light vibe, okay. And then, are you brown? Okay, that's quite brown. <gasps> that's quite cute. And then... Enjoy Stardew Valley, um, Natalie. That's a cute outfit, right? I think so too. Maybe I could do her with like some boosted vans. I always wear boosted vans. And then I like, you know, the socks that are like half pulled up, half not, like these little fellas. I've just got a real thing for these socks. I just really love them. I just need to find a color that kind of works. Or maybe we just go cream to match the top. What do you guys reckon? Do you think booties would be perfect? Let me have a look at some booties. I've got like these kind of boots. Oh, you're so right. The boots were such a better look. Well done, well done, well done. Wow, we, ne we nearly made an error. What about some like dark brown boots? Oh, that's such a cute outfit. 
What? She looks amazing. Hmm. Carselina. I feel like she'd be really nice. She is cheerful and neat. But she is secretly a serial romantic as well. So she's quite cheeky. Kind of love that for her. <laughs> uh, basketball dancer. Thank you so much for two months in a row. Three months in total. Sunflower for the 12 oh. months. Have some flowers. And Parker Rep. Thank you so much for the twin. Hey, one month in a row, almost two years. Uh, Larry Matt also with a 21 months. Oh, I hope work goes okay. And also uh, Claire Siobhan at Fanta Lee. Thank you so much for the 15 months in a row. I hope you've had a good 15 months. Okay, she is very cute. You guys think a cream headband. I think you could be onto something with that. So I have like a patterned one or maybe we just go quite plain with the headband. Has to be the right color though, right? Hmm. Or maybe we just lose the headband. Hmm. I might go back for clips and a hair. I feel like clips and a hair for this look is the right move. I just feel like it's a clips in a hair kind of outfit. Maybe like little white hair clips actually. Hmm. Double clips. I feel like I've got cuter double clips in this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I think that's cute. Clips would probably hurt in braids unless they're like not there to actually clip the braid in. They're more just like... I've got these side ones too. They're just like there for show. Or maybe something like this. Yeah, I don't know if that would be painful on a hair. I do have little flowers though. They don't really fit flat on her head, though. I'll just give her a crown. Um... Little scrunchies, but they're not really in the right place. Oh, I have like this kind of headband. Maybe a bit too childish, though, right? Maybe we just go back to that. I think I liked her little patterned one though. I think I preferred that. I think that's a cute look. I think that's cute. Okay, right, let's go for her formal look. So this is what she will wear to our wedding. Now, I kind of imagine the girls as being bridesmaids and the toddlers as being flower girls. So I need to get the girls a matching look for the wedding. Um, So... What would be a cute little bridesmaids look? What color theme should we go for? Oh, it's green. We should go for green bridesmaid dresses because it's green's wedding. So I could go for like something like that. It's quite pretty. That's pretty. I, I kind of, I really want to love that dress, but I just don't yeah. think I do. That's quite pretty as well. What do you reckon? Or I could go for one of my own dresses and just like not use one of their new ones. Oh, that's so pretty. That's nice, right? I know it's kind of broaching on bridal, but I had long dresses on my, for my bridesmaids. And like with some gold jewelry. I need to get some more jewelry. I don't love my jewelry very much. Just like a little gold, like this. Green and gold is pretty. <sighs> that looks so nice. You can't really see her shoes, but if you did, she would just have like, Maybe just something like that on, because you can't see them anyway. And then for her wedding makeup, 
Um, I want to try and do a green eyeshadow, but not ugly green eyeshadow, which might be quite hard. Sims delivery incoming. Oh, cool. Maybe something like that. <gasps> that. That's way more fluttering on her, like, eyes and everything. No, not too strong. Just like that, I think. I think that looks pretty. And then if you're going for green eyes, should you go for, like, an orangey kind of lip? Um... No, oh, they're too light, aren't they? Ooh, no. Ooh, no. Might just leave her lips natural. Don't want to go too heavy. She's a teen at a wedding. I can see, actually, a bit of Briar in her as well. You know, it's, um... What was Briar's mum called? Robin. I can see Robin in her side profile. Strong Robin energy. Okay, there we go. Catalina is done. And she has her bridesmaid look. She is absolutely adorable. And then we've also got oh. Aelin, who is Catalina's sister. Now, she does have um, black hair, but she's dyed her hair blonde. So I'm going to keep it this way. She has a really different personality. She is a villainous Valentine who is dastardly and mean and squeamish. So she is, uh, she is incredibly different. I'm gonna like just leave her lip makeup. No, we'll remember that she likes like a strong lip. Yeah, she's a mean sister. She is quite a mean sister. <laughs> so th I, that's so funny. They've ended up so different to each other. Let's grab her some eyebrows and her eyebrows I'm gonna keep black because her hair is black, but I'm gonna keep her blonde because uh, the game's kind of done that, but I kind of like it. And I'm gonna try and keep her like kind of she had a bit of a mean face, but I sort of loved it. So I want eyebrows that are kind of archy and kind of emphasize the fact that she's kind of dastily, you know? Faye from Euphoria. I've not seen Euphoria. I think maybe eyebrows like that. One of these three. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's go for this one. And... I don't know whether to give her the same skin overlay as a sister or just go for something a little bit different. I think I'm going to mix her up a little bit. What do we go for? Maybe that one? No. Regina George. <laughs> mean girls vibes. Yeah, she definitely has that energy about her, I think. Um, I do really like this overlay. What are her natural eyelids like? Yeah, that fits her natural eyelids quite well. And then I'll, I'll add some color back into her face with the rest of the overlays. Okay. She has got also brown eyes too. So before I forget, let me just give her some brown eyes. I know this is going to a slightly different shade as a sister. I love dark brown eyes though. I really love dark brown eyes. Okay, and then I am gonna add back on a bit of color to her face. So let's start with a bit of blush. And then let's start with a bit of texture. There we go. Yeah, let's go here. She's got quite a pink face now. <laughs> I think she... Let me see how her skin tone compares to her mum's skin tone. So her skin tone is here. It's kind of almost like a grey neutral. I think her mum's skin tone is a lot pinker. Ah, okay. That's her mum's skin tone. That's her skin tone. So she does have a very similar skin tone to her mum. But just a slightly different shade. I'm not going to mess with their skin tones because sometimes you do end up with children that are fairer or darker skinned than their parents. And I don't... Like, Shayan was a re... I didn't make her. She existed. So she could have had, like, a more fair skinned, like, parent. 
And then Aelin just has like a one of her grandparents' like skin tones. So you know. <laughs> it's Euphoria is 18 plus for a reason, okay. It seems to me a lot like skins in the UK uh was but i don't think i would in I, I don't know i don't know if i would enjoy that kind of more teen focused show anymore now that i'm like a little bit older you know because i don't think i could watch skins again now okay i'm liking how she's looking so far yeah skins was like the og for that kind of thing um and what kind of makeup am i thinking on her she's mean and squeamish and she's also a villainous valentine they're both romantically focused sims interestingly enough hmm. i'm thinking long lower lashes on her instead of my usual eye flick yeah bold lip for sure that's what oh, thank you ollie for that uh, that's why i'm not gonna go too strong on her eyes i'm gonna focus it more on her lips just go for a little bit of eyes. I think that's fine on her. Um, Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on shout outs, aren't I? Hi, this is Matt. Thank you so much for subscribing. Can welcome them to the features, please? Tay Tay, thank you so much for 14 months in a row. Clumsy Valkyrie for the two months in a row. Four months in total. Yeah, I saw Taz playing Sims in Bloom and she made it look really fun. And Ariel Victoria, thank you so much for the bit. Kind of giving me Clem vibes with the hair. Oh, for the, um, for the previous twin, for Catalina. I agree. Uh, Ariel Victoria. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much for the bits. Desi Girl, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you're gifted by Desi Girl, make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Uncreative Rose, thank you so much for the 11 months in a row. Glad you liked the her. And Violet Poodle with the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. You probably have already, but if not, please make sure you say a big thank you to Violet Poodle if you were gifted. Okay, I'm thinking of going for. Whoa. This is a very bold lip on her. Maybe not that. Maybe. Yes. I'm thinking of something like this on her. Because she did have that super red lip, didn't she? So I kind of want to keep that. And then anything here? Nah, I don't think so. She's already got a little bit of blush. I don't really want to add to that too much. I could just give her like a little bit of face shine for the realism. Kind of like the face shine on her she's yeah she's so pretty right um and then for her hair i really want to keep this long straight look i think the long straight look is a vibe so what do i got that will be like a good fit so i could like make her hair like i, I kind of like the middle part in on her i'm just trying some on for size but i do like the middle part um these are all my Anto hairs, but most of them are a bit wavy. We want like poker straight, don't we? This is poker straight blonde. She's, I can't stop looking at her. She's so pretty. <laughs> um, what else do I got? Ha oh my gosh. If we'd have picked Forest as the heir, we could have had Aelin. <laughs> Because she's very cool. Um, what else do I got for you guys? So much hair. All of the hairs. No, that's messing with her. I can't get that hair to fit anyone. I don't know if I just make my sims wrong, but that hair doesn't fit anyone. Um, she might have a bit of natural hair. Uh, like natural wave to her hair. But... Because she came to me with this really straight hair, I just like the idea that maybe she straightens her hair. And I want to keep, like, what she came with because I thought it was kind of a look. It needs to be a bit longer than that, doesn't it? I'm kind of liking the original ones we went went for the most, you know? Hmm. Ooh, headphones hurt my head a bit. Um... Yeah, I think I like the OG ones more. Although that is a whole look that she's serving as right. Wow.
What'd you guys think of that? <laughs> She's a teenager, don't forget. She is a teenager. And this feels like teenage hair. Some of the others, maybe when she's a bit older. Okay, she doesn't have any likes and dislikes, so I'm just going off the fact that she's dastardly and she's mean. So I kind of want to go for like a bit of a... Sort of, I don't know, maybe Regina George inspired, but like a little bit more... Darker colors? I don't know. Hmm... What's clashing? Something's... Okay, um... What do we got? Edgy Regina George. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. No, these are really doing it for me, though. Because, like, that's Regina George. Kind of that, you know, the little sort of top. On Fridays, we wear pink, is it? What do they wear? What color do they wear? I can't remember. Um, that's a bit much for high school. <laughs> Maybe something like that. Oh, on Wednesdays, we wear pink, not Fridays. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Yeah, red matches her lipstick. Well, I don't know what I'd pair with that, though. I might even go for a dress for her, to be honest. Because I don't know what to pair her with. I feel like it's a skirt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's saying, yeah, she's saying skirt also. Skirt also. But I've got, like, loads of these, like, you know, like, relaxy trousers. And I just don't uh -huh. know if she's any of those. Which red? Okay, let me have a look at the um, black jeans. Like loose fit jeans. Mm, they don't come in black. Well, a lot of my jeans don't come in black. Weirdly enough. Ripped jeans. Um, these are like very like low around the waist jeans, which means a lot of tum tum showing. Otherwise, I go for like skinny jeans. I I'm feeling a dress. Let me just have a look at some dresses real quick. She does have like, it's the same jeans. So it would make sense that she might remind you of like one of my previous Sims from the same save. Cause they're all related. I love her. I think she's really cool. I'm really hoping that um, Liv grows up cool. I've got my fingers crossed for her. Um, kind of boring. I don't know if these are a bit much for a teenager. That's like a bit of a grown adult outfit to me. Same with that one. It's a bit much, right? What is that? Oh my gosh, what? It's a whip that in the vampire series. That's so pretty. Hello. Oh, what about something like this? Something like that could be a look on her. Has that got a little like bears on it? Oh my gosh, it has little bears on it. Yes. Okay, what kind of color? Maybe pink? But I like the bears. I'm kind of feeling this color scheme on her. I know it's very similar to her hair, but I'm liking the overall color scheme. Rapunzel, it would actually. It would, Fionn. F Fionn. Fionn, am I saying your name right? Fionn, Fionn. 
I like this one with the bears. I think that one's so cute. Oh my gosh. These sisters with their aspirations are actually low-key quite scary. Because both of them are basically serial romantics. She just takes it a bit further, this girl. I need like orange shoes. <laughs> I feel like you've got to wear like boots or heels with this outfit though. Something like that or something like that just feels like the right look, you know? Oh, I love that color. That color is so pretty. Oh, that little Lebut Lebutins, 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 Lebutins. <gasps> I feel like she'd have her nails done too. I might do little orange nails. Oh, actually, I might do a French manicure. Yeah, a little French manicure. <gasps> but like a darker one to match her boots. Okay. She's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so that's Aelin. I'm scared of her, but I love her. And then I need to give her the same um, dress for the wedding. It was this one, wasn't it? And the same shoes. And the same necklace. There we go. And I'm just going to give her her makeup back because it was just so pretty is it that one yeah and i'll do her eyes back as well because i like her with like the strong lower lash i don't do that very much but i like it she does seem like one of those teens that wants to dress a bit older especially she already knows what her lifetime aspiration is and it's scary where's my um bottom lashes gone oh that eyeliner lashes yes oh my gosh oh and she needed the green eye makeup didn't she for the uh wedding green was it this one no what was the makeup i gave the her sister <laughs> i can't remember what did i give her yeah, I already feel like she hates her bridesmaid dress so much. Oh, that one. There we go. Which color green does she suit more? See, she suits this color green more and her sister suited that one. So I'm going to give her a different kind of green. And I'm going to turn it down just a touch. Okay, so let me just put her back to her main outfit. We've got Aelin. And we've got Catalina. They are both so different to each other, but they are twin sisters. Um, and now we've got their twin, also twin brother and sisters. Two sets of twins, which is absolutely crazy. So this is Jace. Jace is clingy. So I'm going to give him, which come on. Everyone else has had these eyes so far, so I'm going to go for a slightly different one on him. And uh, this hair... I find so difficult to make an alpha version from because um, I love this hair. I like that it's like a, it's it's not like a super tight curl, but it's not a loose curl. It's somewhere in between. No alpha equivalent of this exists, which is such a shame because it's such a nice hair. Um, so I'm going to, it could be quite difficult. Yeah, I, I've had so many twins in this family line. Like it's just been twin crazy. Just twins everywhere. I don't know what it is about this family, but like everyone is a twin. I'm going to go for a middle color blush on him because I feel like his skin tone is kind of mid. Yeah. Maybe something like this. Let's give him a little texture. And his nose is very cute. I might keep it as it is. Oh, that one's quite cute as well, though. That one's is too. I'm gonna go for that one. That's really cute. He's got a little red nose. Mm. If I stream tomorrow, it's gonna be Skyrim, yeah. But um, tomorrow my parents are arriving. So it depends what time they get here. Oh, this kid is so cute. What? 
Look at that little face. Right, what is a good alpha version of a mid kind of curl? What can we fit? What can we trial? Because this is like a bit longer and it doesn't have enough wave to it. This has a little curl at the front and it's a bit longer, but I still feel like his hair is a bit curlier than that. This one has like one big curl. This one has a curl going along at the front. That could kind of work actually. Oh, I forgot toddlers do this. He is a very fresh just little bean, isn't he? Um, This is usually my go-to slightly curly hair because it has a slight curl to it. But curly hair, you can tell, is definitely harder to do because there's just less of it. This is what I ended up having on coral. So we could do like a little coral throwback. What do you guys reckon? Can we see him in adult form and age him down again? I kind of want it to be a surprise though. I want to know what he looks like. Posture check, thank you. There we go. And a light change to green. Okay, let me do green lights. Yeah, I think we should do a little coral throwback hair. Just a little, uh, if you know, you know type situation. That's cute, right? He's adorable. And then often with toddlers, I like to put like some little, well, not all of them suit it, but some of them suit like an extra lush bit at the bottom. Like this. It's tiny, but I just think toddlers have really good eyelashes. So I like to give them good eyelashes. And then I often try and find a shade here that looks quite natural just because then their lips look a bit more real like this cute right <laughs> beanie in the background oh yeah look maybe here sexy here little babas they're so cute i love my doggies okay and then i'm thinking maybe like a little hoodie type thing on him this is my favorite color. I'm not sure about the half and half. Yeah, I prefer this kind of shape more. <gasps> cute. <gasps> cute. I like that color. And yeah, we will do an update of their parents as well. Uh, Liz, Lil Corn, thank you so much for 10 months in a row with your prime. Sarah Rose is feeling peachy. Thank you so much for these 17 months in a row. Uh, Violet Poodle, thank you so much for six months in a row. And Meredith, thank you so much for the win. Three, four, five gifted subs. And make sure you say a big thank you if you're gifted by Meredith. Thank you so much for the five. And Pina, thank you so much for the 11 months in a row. And Meredith, thank you so much for the bits. It's your birthday. You just got a surprise flower delivery. And you're gifting yourself with a failing floral zip hoodie and an Eevee pillow. My babes. Oh, Meredith, thank you so, so much. Can we get some happy birthdays in the chat to Meredith, please? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Meredith. Happy birthday to you. Hope you had an amazing birthday and the flowers are beautiful. And um, Mocha Chibi, thank you so much for the bits. Just wanted to say uh, you're an amazing mom. Oh, bless you. And your mom has it also. Oh, Mocha Chibi, give me the biggest, biggest hugs in the world. I hope you and your mum are doing okay. I know how frustrating it is to struggle with it for so long. But giving you the biggest hugs. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes, guys. And also, Kjam, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you're gifted by Kjam, make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. And Alz, thank you so much for this whole month, the whole year. Have some flowers. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give him just some little, little, trous little trouser. Oh, I like these little check ones. Kind of doesn't go with what he's got on though. You know what? I'm going to change his top because those trousers are just so cute. And I kind of feel like Forrest would put them in like, yeah. Oh, <gasps> yes. Look at that. Forrest and, um, oh my gosh. What was Forrest's dad called? I was going to say Paul, but it definitely wasn't Paul. Uh... What was he called? Luke. Yeah, they all were like Cardigan Brigade. It's another one in the um, Cardigan Brigade gang. So let's go ahead and continue that tradition because that is a very cute tradition. With some little shoes. Oh my gosh, yes. You are so adorable. And then for your formal wear. Well, look at you, sir. All kitted out and ready to go. You know what? That's so cute. I think I'm going to keep you in that. Oh my gosh, yes. 
What is it about little boys in suits that is just so cute? Like, it's just so cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. Okay. Yeah, those little shoeies. Okay, Jace is all ready for the wedding as well. You are adorable. Forrest makes beautiful children. And then we have Mackenzie. Oh my gosh, I think Mackenzie is our palish child yet. Oh, Mackenzie has the same skin color as Aelin. But I'm not sure if they're going to end up... I'm going to give both the twins the same eye color just so that they're itchy matchy. I'm not sure how similarly they'll end up um, looking as they get older though. To give you some little... I'm going to give you the same brows as your bro. And let's give you some lashes. Might also do a little goo goo overlay. Well, that one. I used this same one on uh, Catalina. I just feel like it's quite a realistic skin overlay. Like with the little bugs under the eyes and the shine on the nose and everything. I kind of feel it up. Uh, yeah, the detail on that bow is good, isn't it? I never noticed that before. Um, I'm also going to give her a little blush. Hmm, maybe this color. No, let's go back to that one. Um, a little texture on the skin. Um, nose, I might give you the same one as you grow, which is this one. Let's give you a little smiley face too. And then as for the hair, I don't hate the hair she has, but I wanted to try a few other ones on her. So this isn't quite as tight a curl, but oh my gosh, her eyes doing that is going to annoy the hell out of me. There is this option if you wanted a slightly looser curl, but still like very curly hair. If not, all of these will work because they all come in the hair color that she has. So we've got a few different options here. I will put her um, eyes back as well. Yeah, they do make really adorable babies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so much hair. That's so cute. That's very cute as well. I'm thinking maybe if I did one of these, I'd put like a little headband in. That's really cute too. She's very cute, isn't she? <laughs> it's just so much hair. <laughs> so much hair. Um, what else we got? We got something similar to what um, Forrest had as a kid. In fact, I think he had this hair. And there is that with a bow. Um, I would probably put some like little baby hairs on if I was going to do that. There's also this one, which I can add little bows to. This one. And this one but this one this one i got lots now this one oh that's cute let me just pop her eyes back in what do you guys think of something like that that hair is cute isn't it do you reckon this fits underneath any like little cute hearts oh my gosh it does okay Okay, this this is a whole mood. <gasps> yes. <laughs> this is so cute. Should I give her a bear heart? I'm kind of feeling like she needs a little bear heart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I use the N11 eyes uh, by Go Pulls Me. It's either that or a headband. Oh my gosh, they're both so cute. I don't know which to go for. Maybe a headband for the wedding. But I think day to day, she needs a bear heart. I kind of like this rig out as well because she's giving me like little Red Riding Hood vibes. She is very little Red Riding Hood. Because it was like her um, black as ebony, skin white as snow. That was Snow White, wasn't it? Oh, 
Oh, that's cute. Oh. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh. Let's keep the little red on her. Red was a good look on her. Agree, agree, agree. Yeah, I love the sound toddlers make when you're doing them in cast. It's so cute. Oh, ladybird shoes or just plain red? Oh, what about black shoes? No. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, leave the black shoes for a sec. Let me throw some socks on her. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Oh my gosh. No, I like the white. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Cats and bears. That's very cute, right? She is very bobber. These toddlers are so cute. Very cute toddlers. And then for the wedding day, I'm going to give her... I wonder how Zane's kids are going to compare. I'm very intrigued now to know. Maybe a little green bow. Because it is green gen. I want that one, but it doesn't work. I don't know why. So we'll go for this. Oh, let me just... Oh, that one. Yeah, that one fits in her hair better. And then let's find her a little flower, flower girl dress. Oh! <gasps> Well, that was easy. And it's from the new park. Oh my gosh, perfect. Done. And Mackenzie is a charmer. Mackenzie Harris. Forrest going out and just having a really nice life and producing like beautiful children. You've got to hand it to him. Is Liv going to have siblings? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I want to see more of the children they produce. So maybe. That's what it is for me. It's it's about just seeing what the children look like, you know? Now I need to give her a little bit of like an elder makeover. She is a bit older now. Yeah, so maybe something like that. Elders Ooh. tend to cover like their shoulders and arms a bit, don't they? Yeah, we could give her white hair. That's a good shout. I wish there was like an elder inspired section. Or just like some elder, an elder park would be quite good. Um, you know what I'm gonna go to? I'm gonna go to Cottage Living. Cause I feel like that has a lot of elder stuff. Yeah, something like that kind of feels reminiscent of her previous outfit. Or we could go to like... Yeah, because then for the wedding, I could give her like this sort of look. And I feel like that makes sense to wear to someone's wedding, doesn't it? Something like that. Or maybe something like that, actually. Even though they don't like each other. <laughs> okay, and then a hair. Go to white. Maybe you will, her brows will switch to like dark gray as well. And I might just take her eyelashes down a notch. Because your eye, you tend to lose your lashes as you get older as well. I'm really selling getting old, aren't I? I'm like, oh, your lashes fall out. This happens, that happens. It's just altogether quite traumatic. There we go. I think she looks a bit older now, doesn't she? I should have worn that to your wedding. Taz! Can we get some love in the chat for Taz, please? Hello, how are you doing? How was your stream? Welcome on in, Taz. Also, sensational stories. Thank you so much for two months in a row with your prime. What has launched? Uh, do exclamation mark feeling floral. We've launched new feeling floral, feeling peachy stuff, a new range. And Loco Taco, thank you so much for the four months in a row, six months in total. You just bought your first house. What? Congrats, Loco Taco. Well done. Oh, Taz, are you still playing Life is Strange? Are you enjoying it? Which one are you on? And Saz, thank you so much for the bits. She had such a Drew Barrymore 90s vibes. Dark brows and brownie red lips with blonde hair. Oh my gosh, yes. That is cute, but I'm kind of loving the hair she's got right now. Plus, it does have slight roots. 
it has like a little bit of a root not a lot but maybe she just got it done you know maybe she's only just got it done and kurowichi thank you so much for the bits you watch euphoria for the representation as a trans woman there's an incredibly accurate trans character who i love and she was actually my, the first expression of myself i've seen in a show that's awesome that's why representation is so important and Mocha Chibi, thank you so much for two months in a row. Sydney, thank you so much for ten months in a row with the Prime. You haven't played Life is Strange since finishing season one. Uh, oh, Walking Dead, sorry. You're doing Walking Dead, that's what I meant to ask. How is that going? I think I've only ever played season one of that. I think it's quite, t it like, makes you cry a little bit, doesn't it? And Lorraine Zoe, thank you so much for three months in a row at tier three. Thank you so much for the tier three sub. Nerd Girl, thank you so much for 21 months in a row. Alone Gremson, 49 months in a row at tier two. Thank you so much, Lowen. Elmu, thank you so much for giving a sub. If you could buy Elmu, make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. And also for being here for two months in a row, three months in total. Alaria, for the nine months in a row, a Twitch baby. Als Toyvan, for the 15 months in a row. I'm good. How are you? and kp green for the 15 months in a row you're loving um walking dead but it's a bit gory and sad oh <laughs> also this hair is a whole gorgy vibe oh the one on her she looks amazing she looks like very much like early 2000s teen flick i would say okay i feel like mackenzie switched her eyes back without my permission yes yeah, she has mackenzie Papa, no pop those back on you uh have you done the same thing i don't know why my toddlers won't keep their eyes on if anyone knows a way to fix this glitch please let me know because it makes me so sad and forest you've not had an update in a very long time so why don't we give you a little update you're not quite an elder yet um but you are a dad so i might give you a little little cardigan you've always enjoyed a cardigan so let me find a little cardigan for yeah. you This song in the background. Na, 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 na. Isn't this God Save the Queen or whatever? Or like, it's... Uh, I'll see my country, you may not see my queen. We had to sing this in assembly at school. A million percent, we did. Please tell me someone else knows this song. I, I'm sure we had to sing this in assembly. I'm gonna give him this because he is still like part of Green Gen, isn't he? Uh. My puppies walked into the room, but they left straight away. It's probably because of my singing. Let me turn it up. Uh. Okay. It says like, I vow to thee, my country. Da, 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 da. Is it all design or whatever? No, no, what is it? It is the song. Yeah, we 100% have to sing this in school. I vow to thee, my country, and my king. I'm gonna Google it. I'm sure I had to sing that stupid song. I vow to thee, my country. And yeah, it's a real song. It's a British patriotic hymn created in 1921. That's what it is. I knew I had to sing it in in high school. I even remember the lyrics. How sad is that? <laughs> okay, he's almost an elder, so I'm just gonna switch into my cozy clothes, which tend to be cream trousers and a cardigan. Cream trousers and a cardigan and boat shoes. That's what happens to men when they get old in my series. Sh um, I don't know if they ever got married. I don't think these guys ever got married. I don't think it was really on the cards for them. You guys want to change out Forrest's hair? I was kind of thinking the idea of maybe he had a hairstyle similar to Luke as he got older. A little bit of like remembering his dad sort of situation. And Luke had this hair. He also had... Where is the down version? This. So I was thinking maybe we could do him having like hair similar to what his dad had. What's the darkest? That one. What do you guys think? I love that hair. I think that hair is really cool. I like like the little extra 
like little hairs above it, making it look really real. But I thought it might be quite nice for him to love Luke's hair. Also, why did I never give you facial hair, Forrest? What the hell? I might give you a full beard. <laughs> I think I'm going to beard him up. Yes! I need like an alpha longer beard. Oh, actually, he would have like a textured beard, wouldn't he? Maybe I can give him one of these. Ooh. He does look so young, doesn't he? Maybe I'll give him just like a little bit of like dignified aging, you know? Just like a little, a little touch of it. What happens if I take this off? And then what happens if I pop on? There we go. Because this one I can I can uh, uh, gradually increase, which I really like. Make him look slowly older over time. He looks older and wiser and he looks really handsome. So I like that a lot. I'm gonna just do a quick lip overlay. I don't love the lips that come with this skin. I'm gonna put those on and then turn them right down. Mm, that color's not right. Mm. Yeah, that's better. Okay, what do you think of that? Ah, uh, I don't think I ever gave Luke much facial hair. He does look the spit of Luke. The cardigan too. The music's quite loud now. Okay, let me switch it down a touch. Thank you. Um, There's no true block for these braids. So... I'd have to like... Yeah, there's no like... Because he doesn't have any um, brown to his hair. So that's the closest I can get it. You're not a fan of the beard. I could go for a bit of a shorter beard on him. Like this sort of situation. Or shorter still. Like this. If I do that, I'm going to make his lips a bit darker though. Because they kind of look a bit lost now. Yeah, that's better. Maybe even darker still. Maybe this and then turn down. Yeah. Okay. Stubble looks better. Okay, there we go. So, we've updated all of Forest family. Uh, we've got Jace, who's adorable. We've got Mackenzie, who's also adorable. We've got Aelin, who is fierce. And we've got Catalina, who I love is also adorable, but is also actually a serial romantic. <laughs> Both the girls are so funny. And we've also given Cheyenne a little bit of an elder makeover because she's a little bit older as well. So uh, I'm going to go back and save so we make sure we get all of those. And then I need to find Zane's kids, but I don't know where they are. I kind of lost them. You ever just lose a child? At KP Green, thank you so much for 15 months in a row. Welcome on in. Hum Samage also. Uh, thank you so, so much for being here. Uh, for gifting us up. Gifted by Hum Samage. Please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. And B Lydia, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Expired milk for the 11 months in a row. Oh, a softball update. I made my school team, but they're horrible. Oh no. Oh, I hope it goes okay on Saturday. Um, How am I gonna find these kids? Can I sort by name or something? Oh, here we go. And what was her name? Wheels. Okay wheels i wish it would get rid of the ghosts i want to uh, the only reason i'm not deleting all ghosts is because sometimes i need them to get previous gens but the ghosts are really annoying me um w l m n o p q r s t u v l m n n o p q r s T U V W. Wait, where is wheels gone? I passed them. 
Where are they? Creels. Did they get... Wait, if they got married? If they got married, then she would have a different surname. Where are you? Oh, you're at my house. Where did they go? I've completely lost them. So weird. You think maybe they're still homeless? Let me search for... Um... Okay. Let's search for not in world. Wait. Do I have to do this? Okay. Where did they go? Because I've been trying to make them date and I've been inviting her around and like chatting with her. So she definitely exists somewhere. I could only think that, yeah, I might have to go into the household and grab them that way. Yeah, okay. Right, let's play as Zane. No, I want him to come home though. Can I like make him travel? Visit, no. Just go home. I hate it when you load them and then I'm gonna have to load him like twice because he's not at home, you know? Grr. Okay, he'll know where they are, surely. I don't know where they've gone. We'll find them, don't worry. Miss Sarah, thank you so much for subscribing with your prime. Can welcome Miss Sarah to the peaches, please. We're still okay. You've been on my desk for a few days. Hopefully you are. Mm. Oh, I should have visited with his household. Okay. I wish there was just like a way that you could automatically just like go home with your sim, you know? Pink Unicorn, thank you so much for three months in a row. Hope you've had a good three months. Uh, Brian and Briar and Jaden, I will do in an episode because I think I will. Um, I want to pick like their wedding dresses and stuff, but I'm not ready yet because I want to make um, pink unicorns. Did I just get your three months? I just forgotten that. I think I did. Um, I want to get Jaden to like ask Forrest, like blessing and all that kind of thing because I feel like he's quite like that, you know. I also feel like he would propose on a Scrabble board. I just I have that. He has Scrabble energy. Oh, give not Jim. I hope you enjoy it. I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, right. What is going on then? I'm glad the game is paused because I don't. Okay, Violet. Oh, <gasps> no, freaking way. You live at five Cobble Bottom Street, and you're a celebrity chef. Wait, what? What? You know who she's married to? She's married to, I think. Do you remember the guy from Lila's dance crew? How is he still alive, first of all? What has just happened? Last time Zane came to my house in the episode you guys will see tomorrow, he was really sad. Like, I've got to see what, I've got to see what is her, I've got to see what the situation is. I'm so confused. MCC be wildin'. Now that there's like, um, neighborhood stories, do I just like, turn off mcc i don't know what to do i don't understand how this guy's still alive it makes no sense to me he should be dead how are you still alive how are you still an adult like you're handsome as hell but how are you still alive He must have a flag. He must have a flag. Okay, where is five crumple bottom lane or whatever? I need to go check because I think he's set to immortal and that makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense at all. Oh, do you think he's a vampire? No, I don't think he's a vampire. He, sh no, he shouldn't even be an elder, he should be dead. Lila died how many generations ago? Henford. Okay, we'll go check them out. Yeah, he's definitely not supposed to be alive. 
He's getting his ass deleted. Oh, do you reckon he's a butler? I think Violet should be insane as well. I've been trying to build him up for ages. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretend this never happened. Kirsty Lou, thank you so much for 15 months in a row. Yeah, four gens ago. He, I've seen him around a lot because he had gray hair. I assumed he was aging, but he just naturally has gray hair. He's very confusing. Yeah, we'll we'll do a little bit of puppetry. We'll pull the strings a little bit, guys. He is trying to pull a James, but there can only be one James. Okay, I'm gonna go back to manage worlds. What is my favorite gem so far? I kind of really have enjoyed all of them, genuinely. I really enjoyed how grindy Saffron's gen was. I liked Lila's because it was the first one and it was just like so exciting. Uh, I liked Briar's a lot so far because I like her like childhood best friend love story. Scarlet was so much fun. Coral, I just had a real soft spot for. Clem was so much fun to play. Clem was so much fun to play. And did I save the game, by the way? I'm gonna save because I don't wanna lose all the CC edits I did. Sorry, Minzy. Minzy was the first one. Minzy I really enjoyed. Um Okay. There we go. Um, I love them all. Lynn. No one's living in my house, rude. No one's living there. Tankana is here. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh, I thought he was at the vampire estate, but he's not. Okay. Right. Let's go into these guys. And then we're going to fix him because he's just annoying. Posture check. Thank you, Kira. Who is the best looking to me? Oh, geez. Um, I thought Robin was very pretty. I thought Coral was very handsome. Oh gosh, I don't know. It's kind of hard. I thought Saffron was... I liked Saffron because she was very different. We'll have to see what Liv ends up like. Yeah, Coral was so handsome. <gasps> Ash! Oh my gosh, I loved Ash. Violet. Okay, for obvious reasons. Let's do a Violet light change. Yeah, I really liked Ash. Violet, it's kind of more like here, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not even, I'm just going to straight up delete him because I don't want her to mourn him. So I'm just going to fully delete him. Who was my least favorite gen? Um, that's hard to say. I think when I played Lila, I enjoyed, I ended up enjoying Molly more, I would say. So maybe Lila. The Yorkshire Joe, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Hope you're having a wonderful day as well. And Soccer Dance, thank you so much for the 13 months in a row. Okay, are you a fire? Are you like a 10, level 10 chef? How are you just this level 10 chef? That is just so crazy to me. Like, when did that even happen? I don't know. Um, And then, okay, can I see if you're flagged? Coyote Ugly, that was the bond, wasn't it? Let's have a nosy. Sim flags. No flags. How how are you immortal? I don't understand. He has nine children. Oh, what is this man's family tree before we delete him? Oh. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's almost beat me. The game doesn't even know what they are. It's just like they're descendants. Descendant. Descendant. He's on gen nine? He's on Gen 9, and I'm only just on Gen 10, and he started on, like, Gen 4, didn't he? Wow. His genes are everywhere. Oh! 
No way! Trent! Whoa! I can see it. I can see it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so long! <laughs> this man is the father of my Sims game. He's related to Alicia. So we have married into his tree. From Jaden. But I guess not blood related though. Wild. Actually wild. We've touched his tree twice in one gen. <laughs> he is the founding father of my whole sim world. He's like, um... Who was the the Hun guy who, like, everyone in the world, more or less, or, like, 60% of the world share his DNA? He's like that guy. Genghis Khan! Daichi is... Daichi's Genghis Khan. He is the Genghis Khan of the sim world. This is so crazy. I almost feel bad deleting him now because I want to see what else he's up to. I want to see how far he can go. He hasn't had any kids in a while, at least. Her job is redacted. Oh my gosh. He works at Batu. This is so crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna pull. Okay. What do I do? Delete him forever or spare his legacy for a uh, divorce? <laughs> this is so crazy. Tsubishi Sensei, thank you, says let the man live. He's earned this. How has he done this? I don't understand how he's immortal. I genuinely don't do not understand how he's done this. Thank God we checked his family tree before we just straight up deleted him. He's even been in with the land grabs. Like, he's touched everyone's family tree. The pancakes. The alfasis. Oh my gosh. Wait, more? Wasn't more um, Ash's first husband who died? And also, Akino. <laughs> That's so well. Spare him. Uh, spare his legacy. Okay. We will spare his legacy. He has the patriarch trait. From completing the big happy family aspiration. My man completed an aspiration and started a new one. Who was playing this sim? Who was playing the sim? It really feels like someone has played him. Like someone's going on my PC every night and just playing him. How do you know August? Like, how many lovers have you had? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Actually, not that many to say that you've had nine generations. Yeah, what happened to your fridge? How has this guy got such a deep life? How is his roof so complicated? Like, this, li this guy has a deeper life than I do. This man's more real than I am. He's just in here, watching the weather forecast. Not working, by the way. Not working. How he's paying to child support, I do not know. He is... He's got charisma. He's a good dancer, which makes sense because he was in the Coyote Ugly dance gang. His handiness is pretty good. He's not even that charismatic. How has this man achieved this? He just has a pair of headphones in his inventory. He's shrewd. Oh. From completing the fabulously wealthy aspiration. What? How? How? He has completed two aspirations and he's mastered chopsticks. How? 
<laughs> How was he on his third aspiration? He likes basic decor. He dislikes the color red. He likes the violin and he doesn't like retro music. Surely all retro, all music is retro to you. You're a hundred years old. You don't have a good reputation. And you're only in, oh, you're also in a fishing group. Just you. I'm, <laughs> he needs to teach me chopsticks. <laughs> the stars. He hates children and yet he's the father of my whole game. Hates children. Uh, has Ali been playing my save? This makes no sense. I'm so confused right now. Like, look at him. This man is the true not so very legacy. It was him all along. <laughs> okay. Um. I think what I'm going to have to do is move him to a different household i'm just gonna move him to a new household and i'm gonna let him keep doing his thing because then with violet i can i think there's a command to forget sim um how do i forget sim there's definitely a way to do it is it mc relationships Forget active sim. Friendly, romantic, and family relationship. Okay. Okay, Violet is forgotten. And I need to make the kids forget him too. Oh no, they it's fine. They don't really know him. So now, are these guys... She's no longer married, right? Yeah. Why is Zane? Oh, Zane's here. Okay, fine. Right, so now I'm gonna move her back in with Zane. <laughs> so let me go back to Manage Worlds. That was a trip. That was amazing. Oh, what, they are still married? Man, I made her forget as well. Um, I don't know if it's like a clear old marriage. Let me move her back in with Zane and then I can see what we can do. Wild. Oh. Game having a bit of a struggle there. I want to find the doctor because he's been around for even longer. I wonder if I marry her to Zane, if it will like force. Move these guys in. If it will force her marriage to the other guy to end. There were fires in his family tree. No way. Um, so these guys are in hen- yeah, okay, here we go. Boom. And I gotta save, because my game is struggling. Let me do a little save. Yeah, I need to find the doctor. Does anyone remember what the doctor's name is? There was a divorce option. Did I just miss it like an absolute spoon? Okay, let me see if I can marry them, like, in Cass, because that would make things way easier. He is Diamond's father. Okay. Right, so let me do... Husband. Okay, you can only be married to one sim, so I think that's, that's fixed it. Also, what is this ugly-ass outfit? Oh, that's your cold-weather outfit. Okay, whatever. So that's just your normal day-to-day -day outfit. Although I'm going to switch out your top because I just feel like it's something a bit more like relaxed. Now you're a mom. Perfect. And then for the wedding, I am going to give you just like a nice I'm attending a wedding dress. Just something chill. Does the doctor not have a surname? Oh my gosh. You are forcing it. Yeah, but... It's my game, so. <laughs> and they're not main characters, so. It's all good. Okay, what can you wear to my wedding that's not too stealing my show, you know? What can I give you? Yeah, that looks pretty, actually. Let's like, give you that to wear to the wedding. And the makeup is because I originally made her as part of a challenge. 
And why, after all this time, can you still not copy and paste makeup over two outfits? Literally one of the most annoying things in this whole game. I absolutely hate that you can't do that. There you go. And do you still have little spins in your eyes? I didn't realize that. Let's give you some little frecks. So what have you got on this one? Okay. She's so cute. The, the doctor definitely shouldn't be alive. I don't know if it's just because this save file has like gone on for so long now, but I feel like a few things that shouldn't have happened have like started to sneak their way in. And I feel like one of them is the um, Sims living forever because I've not had that in other saves before. That is very much like just a not so berry thing. But yeah. What kind of eye makeup should I give her for it? I'm gonna give you some big lashes actually. You like the black hair? She always had purple in it, but she's a little bit older now. We could always say that she couldn't be bothered to keep up with it for much longer. What do you reckon? You've got the same bug with immortal NPCs. It's very annoying. go a bit darker on her lips I think give her a different hairstyle okay we'll mix up her look a little bit looks nice maybe a bit of a shorter hair length what about I've not. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty on her. I've not used this hair before. This is new. That's so nice, isn't it? This is by Simpliciati. I'm going to switch out her main hair for it, too. Because it's so pretty. I think it's a fairly new hair. I think I only just downloaded this. Wow, she looks so pretty. Okay, so she has a simply amazing wedding look. And then Zane, what's your wedding look? We're here for the toddlers as well, don't forget. I love Zane's day-to-day -day clothes. I think they're really cool. I need to give you a little wedding look, friendo. Maybe something like that. kind of imagine him in a bit more of a relaxed suit that's actually kind of a look i don't know what his lips are doing though also yeah let's just take this makeup off there we go yeah yeah his lips were really bright weren't they I know that I've had to force them to get married, but I love them. And their kids already look so freaking cute. So we, we've we never met these kids. This is the first time I'm seeing them. Another Katarina. He literally copied the name from um, his brother. Is she pregnant? Please don't tell me she's pregnant. No, I don't think so. No, if they're pregnant, I don't think you can pull their tummies. So yeah, she's not pregnant. Okay, so he he copied his big brother's child's name. Can we just all think about that for a second? Oh yeah, let's change all their names to berries. Um, so this is Katarina. She is inquisitive. And then she also has another twin. How many twins? What the hell? Uh, this is Alana. Uh, I was about to put baby. And she is angelic. So we've got berry, 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 berry. Okay, brilliant. So... Oh, Catalina, not Katarina. Wow, it's very similar. It's very similar, but a little bit different. I think these kids are going to be so freaking cute, by the way. I can just feel it. What kind of brown eyes do we go for? I think they've both got quite dark brown, so I'm going to keep dark brown. And 
No, oh no, I made you real angry for a second there, didn't I, baby chicken? Let's not make you all angry. Um... <laughs> I kind of feel like with toddlers, I should be doing more sparse eyebrows because you didn't change the baby's names. Katerina, Alana Berry, they're both baby berries. Um, because babies do have quite sparse eyebrows, don't they? So maybe something like that makes sense. The kid looks stoned. <laughs> it's weirdly enough, it's not a lazy baby. It's an inquisitive baby, which I think is absolute pure Zane because he's got the Strangerville mystery, hasn't he? Strangerland, Stranger Town, Strangerville. I don't know what it is. Um, she's just got a very chill face. Oh, thank you, P1. <laughs> a V skin. A Rhonda skin. I like these eyelashes. This <laughs> baby does look. <laughs> Goo Goo Overlay is my absolute favorite. Got the Sorceress skin. Baby Wonder. Or Maxi Match. I've kind of started to like that skin. I didn't used to like it at all. This one, is this one changed the eyelids a little bit? She doesn't have very strong eyelids actually, so I don't want to use that one. This version does come without any eyelids though. Hmm. I'm thinking Goo Goo Overlay. My wig is from Yes Style. No, I don't want to eat your own because it's spoilers. I don't want the spoilers. I want to just like see what the sim gods grunt is, you know? She does look very unimpressed. I agree with that. Just trying to find a little nose that I like on her. Wow, is anyone else getting cro- Oh, that's cute. She's really cute, isn't she? Yeah, they've got very good genes in this family. There we go. I think she looks a little bit less unimpressed with life. A little bit less stoked now. <laughs> Kai, thank you so much for the nine months in a row. Twitch baby. Chaotic uh, Miliki, thank you so much for the nine months in a row. Tsubishi Sensei, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, Blalula, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. And Zuzu for subscribing as well. Can we welcome both of them to Peachies? Zuzu, I've literally found you a week ago and binge watched your extreme vampire legacy. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's amazing. I think we're on a lot of episodes of that as well. Um, okay, hair. I am thinking. <laughs> That's so cute. Should I give them matching hair? Oh, look at her little big ears. I love big ears, especially on babies. They're so cute. I've got to give them the puffs, guys. Because look, I can put these little um, bows on. Oh, I'm on cold weather. No. <laughs> How do I never notice? Okay, where are the little bows? Please tell me I downloaded them. Because this is so cute, it's making me want to cry. <gasps> no, did I forget to download their little bows? Maybe they're in accessories? <gasps> Wait, let's do yellow for her. And then we'll do a different color for her sister, but we'll do them really similar. Maybe I'll make her sister's hair the same hair, but shorter. Because there's a version of this that's slightly shorter. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh! This family makes the freaking cutest children I've ever seen. Violet's so pretty as well, so you kind of knew they were gonna, like, make beautiful children. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute- Oh! Absolutely, yes. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I've got to put this rig out on her. It's the cutest thing I ever saw. With the cute little pants. Yeah. <gasps> and little ladybird shoes. Oh. 
whole baby is making me want to cry. No, I think I'm going to go sockless. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Look at her. Absolute pure googie egg. And then I'm going to give her the same outfit for her formal. It's going to be green because she's going to be matching. They're all going to be matching for the wedding. So was it green with white shoes? Which white shoes did I put on? Yeah, it was green with white shoes for the wedding, wasn't it? And then for her hair, I will switch her out to a um, green bow just for the wedding. Oh, was it the wrong cut shade of green though? It is, I'm gonna keep her yellow. Is that the right yellow? Yeah. <gasps> She's so cute. Okay, so that's Katarina. I absolutely love her. And then we've got her sister, Alana, who is angelic. Okay. Ooh, not identical twins. Therese in Teresan, definitely not Id identical twins. I'm going to give her all of the same like overlays, but her, her face is different. Her face is definitely quite different. So let me pop her lashes on. And then, oh, who looks more like who? I think Alana looks more like Zayn and Katarina has Violet's face shape. I think that's how it's done it. So did I go for Goo Goo Overlay? Or did I go for this one? Oh, I can't remember what I went for. I think it was Goo Goo Overlay. Yeah, it was Goo Goo Overlay. And then we went for a little bit of blush. I'm gonna go a little bit stronger on hers some texture might go a bit chiller on hers yeah i've just mi mixed them up a little bit because if you put too much texture on a darker skin tone it ends up just washing them out whereas i feel like this works better and then if you're putting blush on if you go too light it doesn't show up as much so i go a little bit darker on the blush so just same overlays but just slightly different oh is this overlaying the mono lid ah in that case, this is really good for keeping a monolid. There we go. Let's go for that one instead. And then nose, I might keep the same. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll keep the nose the same in the little smile. Okay. Hair, I'm going to go for the slightly shorter version. So this is... Yeah. There's two, right? Where's the other one gone? Yeah, that's her sister's hair. But I was thinking of giving her this one. So they're similar, but just really slightly different. What do you guys think? I'm in cold weather. Oh my gosh, Claire. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kick myself. Also, why does Zayn genetically have red lips and passes it on? Uh, this one. And then what can her color be? She's wearing blue. So I'm kind of thinking blue. It's so cute. Why don't we go blue? Is this color too? I think I like this blue. So cute. And then I'm going to give her the exact same outfit, but in blue. Please tell me they have a blue version. They do. Oh, and it has yellow pants. It has yellow pants, guys. Kind of like the darker shoes. Oh no, let's go lighter. Oh my gosh she's so cute it's like i like that they're not identical because then i like to see how they'll age up differently but so look at her face shape and her face and then look at violets see what i mean and then look at zane's face shape and then look at alana's you see what i mean you can definitely see like their mom and dad in them, I think. And then let's go to her formal look. Why do you keep putting that lippy on? You need to go for this and white shoes. But we will add your... Oh my gosh, let's put full face of makeup on her. Jeez. We're going to put your little bows back on. Ah, uh, 
Nail polish for their formals? Can you put nail polish on babies? Oh my gosh, you can't. I feel like that would be really difficult. How'd you get a toddler to stay still long enough to put nail polish on? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. <laughs> you think Alana should be green too because Liv is blue? Oh, like they're crossing over. Or we just give her a completely different color. Let's see what other... So we've got yellow. We've got green. We could make her pink. We could go for a pink one for her. That's cute. Because I'm just thinking then it's completely her own color, you know? Yeah, I think pink goes with the this dress better as well. Yeah. yeah. She's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're both so adorable. I'm really looking forward to see how they're going to age up. Um, but hopefully it's not going to be too soon because I need you to be part of the wedding. So stay toddler. Please stay toddler. Look how amazing this hair is. Look at all the curls. Look how 3D is. How good is that? This hair, if you are interested, is from Abonix. It's so good. Literally so good. It's so intricate, isn't it? It's amazing. Okay, uh, your eyes, I can tell, have just switched. Please stop doing that, my child. I just really hate it when toddlers change their eyes. It's just so rude. Those eyes are so much prettier. Okay, boom. We did it! We did everyone! Uh, Izzy Bun, thank you so much for the eight months in a row. Dorian for the five months in a row. Skylar, thank you for the bits. Uh, Chiselarino, thank you so much for subscribing. Can welcome Chiselarino to the peaches, please. Kelly, was it Kel? Oh, Kelly, thank you so much for the bits. I'm Bunny Button for the 12 months in a row. Have some flowers. Thank you so, so much. Okay, I'm going to send those guys over here as well. Um, And then I'm going to save because I've done a lot today. Yeah, those tops have little animals on. They're so cute. So cute. Yeah, where is the doctor? Maybe we should do a final check for him. Like, how do I get him? I think I'd have to use her. She's currently not in the world. So I might just plop her over here. Just real quick. So we can do our final little bit of investigation. Did you guys say it's her father? So we can check that out. Karina Cut, thank you so much for three months in a row. Hope you've had a good three months. Yeah, the legendary doctor. Um, when is Bridgerton 2, Gub? Is it quite soon? Anil. No, Anil's the person I beat up. Anil is the person I beat up. And then after this, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to eat because I am so freaking hungry. Like I am actually starving. I'm gonna see who's streaming. We can do a little raid. Who we got? Okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um. Okay. We could raid Puffy. That could be quite fun. Bridgerton is out tomorrow. Oh, jeez. That is so soon. Oh, Tony. Oh, I hope I get a chance to play. I'm just going to see what time I have to pick my parents up from the station. Spicy Misu, thank you so much for the bits. What will I do after Blue Gen? I'm going to take a little teeny tiny break, I think. Just a little teeny tiny break. Oh, oh my gosh, you were right. He is called Anil. Wow. Okay, I don't even need to go into him. I can just do this. Diamond has a weak bloodline. Di Diamond is a a spellcaster. No way. And a prepared voyager from Star Wars Aspiration. No way. I love finding all these little things out about people. Who is Veya? Lovebirds. He looks like a spellcaster too. No way. She's She's got her own life. 
I love that for her. I saved before I went into diamond, didn't I? Please someone tell me I saved before I went into diamond. Okay, let's go into our family tree. I did. Okay, amazing, because then I can quit. I don't want to, I don't want to like have her placed. Okay, where is he? Wait, what, he's not your, who is he to you? You guys have the same surname, but are you related at all? You've got to be, if you've got the same surname. Wait, they're not related, guys. This changes everything. This, I feel like we're like detectives, you know? Trying to figure everything out. In fact, I can't bother to wait. Because <laughs> I don't like time going by in my not so berry and me not having, me not being playing it. So I'm just going to do a teleport. Oh, I don't know him that well, though. Grr. Okay, I'll just do this instead. Um... Okay. Oh, right, he's gonna turn up and then we're gonna find out everything. Once and for all. I reckon he could have more than 10 gens. If anyone can't, I feel like it's him. Okay, I saved, didn't I? So I'm not messing anything up if I add him to the family. Okay. He's an assistant nurse. He has the freelance botanist, but there's no quests for him. No quests for him whatsoever. He has no skills. No skills at all. Definitely does not have any makeup skills. And oh my gosh. Okay, he's romanced a lot of people. He's currently romancing Selena. I can't open. He's so bugged. We heard the music that started playing. And he's birthed everyone at this point. Let's face it. Look, I can't open profiles from him. Okay, he is a collector, player from completing the serial romantic aspiration, lover, innocent, gregarious, animal whisperer from completing friend of the animals. He's also a muser, a slob, and outgoing. And he's in the mixing crew, but it's just him on his own. Okay, here it is. Moment of truth. Oh, his is not so bad. He's nowhere near as impressive. Oh my gosh, we almost married into him though. Trent. Trent is right there. Okay, so he has one, two, three, four. Four generations. Ashley. Oh! <gasps> Do you guys remember Ashley? Ashley was hot, but he wasn't nice. Do you remember him? He almost, him and Saffron. Was it Saffron or was it Ash? I think it was Ash. Okay, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven children. A lot of recent children. But his family tree isn't actually that big. It's way more chill than I thought. I thought his was going to be worse, but it's actually definitely not. Easton was living with um, Robin's sister for a while. Yeah, Ash's first boyfriend. And Trent again. Trent with the bloodline, you know? Oh my gosh. And he knows everyone. He he gave birth to like a load of my sims before I stopped using hospital. That's why he knows like Keenan and Coral and Clem and he just was always the hot the, the hospital so it makes sense ashley was his son oh what happened to ashley i wish i could see i liked ashley ashley was handsome but he was just too much of a jerk so we just couldn't really go there he knows james as well james lynn remember him and how many days have you lived sir how can i tell how many days he's lived oh do i go here Yep, 
Yeah, Ashley was his son. How wild is that? Oh, yeah, Ashley. August was there too. Everyone knows August. How can I um? How can I tell like how many days he's lived? Oh, I'd have to make him an elder. Okay, let's age him up then. Um. Okay. Finally, he's an elder. I'm keeping the makeup because at this point, it's just, we can't not, okay? We got to keep the makeup. 590 days. 590 days. You knew Vixen. I can't believe he's lived for 590 days. How have you lived for so long? He is immortal. I don't know why he's immortal either. It makes no sense to me. I just don't get why he is. I also don't get why he's been at work for 590 days. He's delivered our babies. You'd think he'd be like, it'd be... No, he is a doctor. But it makes no sense to me. Bella, thank you so much for the raid. Can we say hello to Bella? Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Uh, we are literally just finishing. We have been investigating my Sims family trees. And there has been so much to unpack. So much to unpack. The most interesting tidbit of all was... Can I even get back? To my Sim that is like the god of all Sims. He is literally the Sim god of the whole of the Sim world. I can't even find him now. But who had nine generations of Sims? And he's still alive. Very, very amazing. Very, very impressive. But I am absolutely starving, guys. So I am afraid I'm going to have to eat. But we're going to be raiding Perthy. Uh, Paris, thank you so much for gifting a sub. You give to my Paris. Make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. I'm, I'm happy that we've done so much today. We've got like loads of Sims CC'd up all ready for when we do a wedding. Uh, loads of toddlers. We've moved Zane back in with Violet, which I'm really, really happy about as well. I'm going to exit without saving because I don't want this situation. I'm going to leave this situation. Oh, thank you, Jake. I'm going to leave this situation without saving because I saved before. So we are all good in the hood. But if everyone can jump in and share the love with Puffy, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Enjoy the rest of your days slash evenings. If you're having din dins, I hope they're tasty. And I will see you guys soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye.